Hi, I'm Mary Bensel, Executive Director of the Van Wezel Performing Arts Hall. And folks, it finally seems to be happening. My staff would be laughing right now because, you know, I am the very pessimistic person, but I am so excited. It seems like the vaccine is rolling out. They're getting into arms. A new uh, vaccine has come online. And we are just praying that this helps us all so we can get back inside our theater and go back to normal life. I, I really feel my soul just lightening. And I think a lot of that was due to the fact that we had a vaccination clinic here at the Van Wezel. My entire staff, except for one person who was moving that week, so of course she was excused, um, came out and volunteered some both days from seven in the morning to like six o'clock at night. And it, they were long days, but they were happy days. The, the customers were so, the patients were so thrilled. And I have to thank Dr. Manny Gordillo, who is an amazing doctor who started working on this with me. We, we were, he was working with me on our re opening guide, and I just happened to say, wouldn't it be great to have a clinic here at the Van Wezel? And then, you know, I also mentioned that when the mayor was around, Mayor Hagen Brody, and that was that. It, mayor Brody made it his mission to make this happen. And I also have to thank uh, Chuck Henry from uh, Sarasota County, the health administrator. He is really great folks and he is trying to do all of this and make it happen for all of us and so I just want to give cheers out to Hagen the uh, to uh, Chuck Henry and to Manny Gordillo they're all superb and especially my staff for giving up their weekend and we're going to be doing it again in three weeks it went really smoothly and and I was I was applauding and screaming every time a shot got in in uh, in an arm so I was really really happy now not to say that we have stopped streaming because of course this is far from over, but are some of our streaming shows, one I got a chance to speak with Michael Londra. And I'd heard Michael Londra's name forever and we've never had him here. And here I find out Michael Londra was the lead singer for the Riverdance Company when they first came to um, New York City in Radio City Music Hall. I think it might have been 25 years ago. And so I knew I might have heard that name before, and here you go. And we're streaming this on March 14th. You can get it by going onto our website. They show you parts of Ireland. I've been there two or three times. It is a gorgeous country. Um, I loved it there. So many great singers, you know, you could go to any local bar, a pub, and there you'll hear great music. But they happened to put this show together right before the, the pandemic hit. They were going to use it as PR materials for their live tour. So it just came in so handy. They did it in Ireland that you'll see a lot of the countryside. You'll see dancers. It'll be spectacular. And that's going to be on March 14th. We also have another Irish show. You know, it is the time of, of, of St. Patty's Day and a Rhythm of the Dance. And this is a company I had a lot of association with. I must have presented them five, six, seven times over um, the time they've been around. Our marketing director, Julia Mays, who was here for a time, she was the director of the, of the Rhythm of the Dance company. They're spectacular, um, and they will be streaming the whole month. Now, another person that had been here is Dwight Yoakam. And you know, he is one of the stalwarts of country music. And Dwight Yoakam, I think his title of the show is Dwight Yoakam One Night, but it's being played two nights, March 14th and 21. And then you can stream some of the Broadway cast re uh, re recordings. And, you know, a lot of these companies haven't been together for a long time. I had the opportunity to watch some of these. I'm a Tony voter, as a number of you know, and it was hard voting for the Tonys this year. Unless it was a big star name, you know, I had forgotten who some of the people that were nominated for the Tonys were because the shows were a year and a half, almost two years ago, some of them. And then, so I streamed over these, these wonderful um, posts. I went back, some of them provided us material, and I just voted for the Tonys for a couple of, year, a couple of days ago. And I tell you, it's so exciting to me to see these performances again, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And then, after a year, after a year, everybody, we are going live on the main stage with Brian Regan, one of the funniest comedians out there. It's April the 15th. That used to be tax day. I don't know if it's still tax day, but it's, it's going to be comedy theater opening day here at the Van Wezel. Um, we've had Brian Regan here several times. They call him the comedian's comedian. We're only playing to 50% of capacity. 
We're doing social distancing. You have to wear a mask, but let me tell you, I have worked with these fantastic arts groups like the Oslo, FST, Sarasota Opera, Orchestra, Ballet, um, the Circus, West Coast Black Theater, and we came up with the best practices. And I'll tell you, these talks we had once a month, once a week, sometimes it was every other week, they are what kept me going during the pandemic because we were all in this together. So we got our marketing directors together and they are having a campaign of mask up and please say socially distanced so we can really reopen. So you can come and see Brian Regan live. A little mask is a small thing. I've been to the Oslo. I've watched shows with a mask on. It's been fantastic. So please come out, see Brian Regan while we still have tickets left. And I can't wait to see you here in the Van Wazel. But I will tell you, if you want to see what some of the protocols we've done, we have reopening guides, and they are on our website. So please, you can look at them, you can download them. And if you can't do it, you don't have a computer, that's fine. Um, just call us and we'll send you a copy. And then we are going to be doing Bay Music Live. And Bay Music Live is going to be on April 3rd with Rebel Heart. And the reason it's been a while between our Bay Music Live performances is we kept the theater open for the months of February and March so we could do the vaccination. We never knew when the clinics were, were happening. And I'm proud to say Dr. Dr. Manny Gordillo also worked with me on that um, reopening guide. So we're so exciting. And Rebel Heart has the best country music. They do rock, they do dance music. I can't wait to be out there on the Bayfront with you. It's beautiful. You know we have Bayfront yoga every Saturday. I really think, folks, it's happening. I'm excited. I just can't contain my enthusiasm. I, I am so much looking forward to seeing you all here one way or the other back at the Van Wazel.